What's going on, YouTube fans? We are here at KMJJ 99.7, your place for the best R&B. Coming up next on the chart, we have Jamie Foxx. It's all I need, the simple thing. My family that cares for me. My baby girl that rocks my world. The simple things, that's all I need. Simple things are all I need. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just kidding one down. Okay, yeah, we're here with another toy <laughs> review. Kind of had a moment since I had this boom. Since um had sound since one of them is Soundwave, of course, and we all know Soundwave changed into this boom box. And we also have uh Autobot Bumblebee, so this is what we're gonna so yep, this is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So uh let's get started with Bumblebee. We'll set Soundwave to the side. Really a shame that Soundwave is not an Autobot because I mean how cool is it to have a transformer transform into a boom box? Although, I think in the G1 movie, they did make an Autobot transform into a cassette player as well. So, they, just, I guess that was trying to make an Autobot boom box, but yeah. Anyway, let's move Sandwave to the side here. And we're going to focus with Bumblebee. So... We got, so here we have, um, he's in his little Volkswagen form, just like in G1 Transformers. Uh, um, he rolls pretty fairly decent. As you can see, the tires are moving. Um, well, well, about as decent as you can get there. Anyway, his car form is really good. Um, got the little Autobot, uh, symbol, I think that's, yeah. Yeah, the Autobot symbol, if I can get the, uh, there we go. Yep, so you definitely know he's an Autobot. He's a good guy. And you see the undercarriage. Uh, not really a whole lot of kibble. Um, you got his arms here, but they actually got these blended in really well, uh, considering that his hands up here, robot mode hands, are holding the back cab in place. So they sort of blend. So the little bit of kibble that we do have is is pretty well blended in there. Much like a lot of the Transformers uh, from, you know, the, the vehicles and stuff like that there. So, so um, not much else to uh, go on there. We're going to uh, go on and get him uh, transformed. Uh, just give me that. Um, there was a few things I forgot to get out the box here. There we go. He also has uh, this accessory. Which, of course, uh, kind of acts like a double blaster. It's actually two blasters combined together. Or you can leave it like this. So, let's transform him first and we'll show you how that works. So, first you're going to get this out of his hand, out of his robot mode hands. If I can, uh, if he'll let go. Let it go. Let it go. Come on. Bumblebee. You just gotta let it go, let it go. Gotta let that cab go, let it go, let it go. <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> so uh, we take we'll take this off to the side for now, for now, and uh, get to transforming them. Let's see. Make okay, that's right. <laughs> so, I'm gonna start. Um, kind of gotta split them a little bit there, yeah, like so. Gonna get his uh legs out here, as you can see. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna fold his wheels in that way they can be covered up. Do the same with the other. And now you have his uh, his feet and and his legs, my leg. <laughs> and now let's gonna come up here. 
Don't make me sing again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> fold, I'm gonna fold that down. Put that back in place. And then bring his arms into place so that way I can pull his legs down. And bring him back, bring that into place. Full 360. He snapped into place. And pretty easy peasy. Oh, almost forgot. I gotta turn his legs around. Yeah, so this part can face you. The part of his feet on his legs. My leg! <laughs> okay, so we got Bumpy all transformed. That was uh, pretty simple. Uh, once again, uh, got everything split. And, of course, you got to have his accessories here. Uh, first things first, uh, show all his movements there. Got the leg movement, knee joint movement. Um, not much in the feet because of the way he had to transform. But you do get this action here. Yep, something like, and same with the other leg there. You got the, uh, and of course, you know, you got the, uh, wheels in the back. They're hidden. That's how they got them hidden by this a little bit there. Then you got his arm movement, full arm rotation. Yep, at the elbow joints. Got real good elbow joints. And he can move his head from side to side. Yep. And now... His accessories work as so. You can put it in his arm, in his hand like that, where you have this really huge blaster. Sort of looks similar to uh, what Cliff Jumper had in the first episode of G One Transformers, uh, when him and Hound were looking to see if the Decepticons had landed on Earth, and they found them. And Cliff Jumper, Cliff Jumper took out this huge cannon. Like this one, and Hal was like, Clip Jumper, what are you doing? I've got Megatron dead center in my viewfinder. Yep. So there was that. And uh you can also and this uh this cab here, if you pull this down right here, you pull this down, he can put this in his hand, sort of like a Sort of like a shield, kind of like the way um, Optimus uh, had, Optimus Prime had in the last toy review. Had a little sh uh, piece of his trailer that acted as a shield. So in this case, Bumblebee's using this as a shield with his big gun. <laughs> yep. Or if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to do that, then, then uh, which uh, doing that kind of makes him look more show accurate. But if you... Uh, not ready if you're not wanting to use that like so you can attach it oh break come on it's like this thing kind of tricky here like in uh come on there we go okay catch kind of a little tricky uh connector there but let's see put it right in its back like so you can have it like that or uh, I think you'll, yeah, I think it probably look better like this, like that. Yep. So pretty neat little tucked away backpack here. And since he has his other hand free, he can separate the blasters into two, like that, like that. Look, it's a guy on Instagram that would talk that way. Like this. So, there you have Bumblebee. His robot mode there. And the different things you could do with him there. So, we got that done. Let's move on to Soundwave. Because he's a brick. Do 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 do. How's that? He's a big old boombox, and he's and he's jamming like this now. Oh, he's a brick, do 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 house. He's got lots of things that he could do, and we're about to show you now. He's a brick. <laughs> and a moment there, <laughs> much like the Jamie Foxx thing from earlier. 
Yep, so this is Soundwave, uh, all fixed up and everything. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't catch the last two videos were yesterday, I was attempting to do a toy review on it, and, uh, what I explained in, uh, a couple of videos is that this little connector port for his robot mode head, uh, had got kind of messed up, or I couldn't get his robot mode head in, so I wasn't able to complete the review and had to scrap it, uh, at least until a couple hours later when I got it fixed up and everything uh, with the the um, the top part of one of my nail clippers there, I was able to pop it back in place. So, for the moment, it seems like it's worked pretty well. I've transformed him a few times before now. So, we shouldn't have any problems there. So, um, he got, of course, he got his uh, tape deck. In the show, he was able to change his cassette tapes into, you know, Laserbeak and Ravage. And I think those Tumblr bots, and he may have had a few others, but those are the ones I remember best uh, from the the little bit of G1 Transformers I remember watching there. Because I kind of watched more Beast Wars there, but I have looked back at G1 Transformers, especially, especially after the poison that was Bayformers. I had... I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta look at the originality, <laughs> as well as some other Transformer uh, animated versions that we have gotten. Uh, sure, they're different. A lot of them are different from G1 Transformers, but they are way better to look at than Michael Bay's crap. You know, had the robots in disguise. You know, Predacons and Autobots that came after the Beast Wars and Beast Machine saga. Then, of course, you know, you had Transformers Armada with the Minicon stuff, um, Energon, Cybertron, and then the other one I remember, Transformers Animated, which was pretty good. Um, pretty good and kind of humorous there, as it as to be expected. And, of course, Transformers Prime, which, uh, if you don't say, which I, um, I seen a little bit of that. It seems like it's pretty good there. Um, I definitely like the theme from Transformers Prime. It sounds really epic. And from what I heard, the guy who made Transformers Prime music also worked on a lot of the uh, music scores for some of the Marvel films there. And I think he may have done some scores for Bayformers. Really? I really feel... Yeah, he, he, which they are good. It's just a shame that they had to be used... <laughs> for those for those movie for those piles of crap there good music and crappy movies <laughs> it's almost like put it's like casting will smith and he does a good performance but you cast him in a bad movie like i robot <laughs> yeah i don't like i robot <laughs> so he comes with he comes with this little blaster which is supposed to be uh as you've seen in g1 when Megatron originally transformed into a gun, this is supposed to be uh represent what Megatron changes into the G1 Megatron. Uh could have used a little paint, you know, to be a little bit more a little bit more like how Megatron looks in gun mode, but oh well. <laughs> at least at least they got a slight bit of the representation now. Uh he got the little play button and Pretty much like an actual boom box. You have the big speakers, you know, your radio dial. Or uh, these are basically stickers on there, just like his Decepticon logo uh, on the tape deck. Um, and unfortunately, like I said before, the tape cassette inside does not change into any of the little miniature things that he had in G1, Ravage, Laserbeak, or the Tumblers. That would be pretty cool if it could, but oh well. And we got the back of them here. Yeah, the back there. Um, these uh, can come out, but I'm not completely sure what the purpose of them is for. Uh, excuse me. I, that's the one thing I hate about when you... Yeah, I just recent. Uh, there we go. I recently clipped my nails and makes it kind of hard to grip stuff when you do that there. So, not sure what that purpose serves being out like that. Yeah, it's almost like uh, 
They look kind of like they're supposed to be uh, feet or something. I think it's supposed to be like another mode he has there, but I forgot what it was because, like I say, over the year, over the time that I've had this one, um, I sort of did, um, I don't have the box or the instructions to them anymore. So all I know is just this mode and the robot modes. I kind of forgot about what he else he had where that might have been useful for. So uh, if you pick up one of these, maybe I can figure it out there. <laughs> But for right now, let's get to that robot mode there for Soundwave. So, and just like he says in the show, Eject, laser beak, ravage tumblers. Go find Energon for Megatron. So, let's see. First, you want to... I got to be careful opening these up because I got some stuff stored in here that are important. And this end, here's the robot head. So we're gonna put this next to the blaster. Uh, it was gonna, so we're gonna, we're definitely gonna need it. Open up the other one and reveal his um, cannon that would go up here in the show. And in case you missed the, and for those of y'all who missed the video explaining about when he was broken, uh. I still stand by my word, even though I got it fixed, that the head should have been attached with the helmet that's stored back there in the back of him, which you will see in a minute there. They should have gone and just attached the head in there instead of making it a separate piece. Um, reason why they made a separate piece, because you can do this. And he has this little miniature robot head above his actual head. I'm not going to turn it or anything. I'm just going to leave it like this so I can get it attached for the transformation. But yeah, and I think these are supposed to be like little arms or something like that. Yeah, so don't know what the heck that was supposed to be. Um, they say it's definitely uh, one might say that it might be like a minicon thing or like a Transformers Armada, but uh, the Minicons were able to transform into miniature vehicles, so I, yeah, don't really see the purpose of that unless maybe it's like the mini robots in the Bayformers thing, which, yeah, they just kind of did stuff in there that was, I mean, yeah, Transformers can be random too, but, yeah, let's get to transforming them. So I'm going to move down the leg, bring out his feet there as well as the leg again. And fold that up. See, right. Yeah. Go post this thing is supposed to face us. Uh got bring out his uh feet. Now we're gonna do the same with the other. He's kind of he's pretty simple like Bumblebee. Only difference is he's just a little bigger. Well, a whole lot bigger. I'll fold the leg up into place. And turn it around like so. Then, of course, you're going to... You can, I can reach my finger in there. Eh. Okay, do it like that. Yeah. And he got his feet out. So now he is standing tall and proud. Oh, oh, make, oh hold on. Let me open this back up again. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Let's see, okay, gotta open. There we go. Open. Now, okay. Yeah, now we can. Because, uh, there's a part that's supposed to. Yes, like, okay. Because the other one went in. Um, I wasn't paying attention to, but it did go in there. Like it's supposed to, but it's supposed to go into this little, uh, hole right there. That keeps it locked in place. And now he can stand tall and proud and be properly posed somewhat there. Okay, get him standing into place. And now we gotta move the camera up here. And raise it up. As they say in Christopher Nolan Batman, rise, 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 rise. What are they saying over there? They're saying to rise.
Don't, aren't you listening? Rise, rise, rise. Get up out the hole. Rise. <laughs> so now you're gonna uh, fold out his uh, hands here, his fists. Fold up into fists and bring the arms down. Bring them down. Bring them down, down, down. <laughs> and then you're gonna open this back up here. Open that to bring out his helmet. Close it back up. Bring down his uh, boombox handle. And now, time to put the head in and hope for the best. Wish me luck. Okay, you see the little connector port is all fixed up, so stick it into there. Yes, it worked. And bring on the helmet. Yes, he is complete. Sound wave. Thank you so much. I was worried that I would not get fixed, but now I am, and I am here for the toy review. So hopefully you pick one up of me. Perhaps, maybe I would suggest one where my head is already attached to make it easy on you in transformation of me. Well put, Soundwave. <laughs> so, we're gonna, uh, gonna attach this little piece up here next to his head. And I think, okay, I got it on the, okay, make sure I got it in the, stick it in there. There you go, just like in the show. Had that little action going. And, um, oh, also, um, he can move his legs pretty well, especially with that little attachment that I showed you earlier. Uh, be careful to, gotta keep his feet pulled up because, um, yeah, the little, it, it has a tendency to go back in, but, um, but it can easily come right back out. Um, full leg movement, knee articulation, same with the other leg, of course, Yep, and even with this thing, he's not limited because they just go up when his legs go up, and then you put him right back down when you bring the legs back down again. Oh, come on back out, Fis. He got full arm movement there. Really good arm movement, just like Bumblebee, as well as elbow joints. Oh, yeah. Swivel, swivel. And, of course, he can even move his head. Uh, even with that helmet on, because it is attached in a way where he can have head movement there. Yep. Gotta be careful you don't pop the cannon off there when moving his head. Um, it can it can stay in there pretty well. Um, if you want while you're moving head, you can take it off, but I would recommend you keep it in so you can keep that way you won't lose that piece. And just like um you saw when I opened up his uh boombox mode to start the transformation. Um, that is a way that you can keep the boom box, I mean, the, the, you can keep this and the separate head for whatever reason they separate it. Uh, that way you won't lose those two pieces because those two pieces are really important, uh, for Soundwave to have. So that's a good way to keep up with them, uh, store them like, so it's, it's not, it's a, uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent um secure because it's not it's not even listed in the instructions of that being a storage because really uh you just have to set them to the, the uh, instruction just say for you to set them to the side but uh that was something that i came up with so you know i could keep up with those two pieces <laughs> and of course you have the blaster that i say uh it's supposed to be megatron uh whenever he changes the gun mode for sun for sound wave or star screen to fire him uh, when he's in boombox mode, you can actually raise. Okay, well, I can't really raise. I don't think I can raise that. Could get this. Let me take this off here. But just a second. Okay, you can. When he's in boombox mode, it can. Uh, it can go in there. It's not something that's. A, I don't think it's officially in the instructions for you to do that, but it can do that. But it is able to do that. Uh, and it's a good way to. Like I say, keep it keep from losing it when he's in boombox mode. Okay, so since I showed you that, let me uh put this uh cannon back into place. I'm trying not to lose that. There we go. So now but now that he's in robot mode, he can hold the Megatron Bluster. 
and fire. Of course, for pretend, because he doesn't have, it's not like you put a missile in or anything like that. So, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> so, <laughs> at least I'm, at least I'm not doing a, uh, at least I'm not doing the pew, pew sound and trying to do a Derek Savage gun safety thing. <laughs> you are a grown man teaching a, is it showing adults the proper way to use their guns? You don't go pew pew. Pew pew. <laughs> so uh so in conclusion, that's uh so that so that's uh sound way to be get more be back on the screen. There we go. Yeah, he's wow my goodness, you can see you can see how tall this guy is. I mean Pull them back a little bit so you can get a good view somewhat. Ow. Okay, but yeah, they are Soundwave is the one I at least this one I got is pretty tall. There we go. So yeah. That was Soundwave and Bumblebee. And yeah, Bumblebee's got quite a Decepticon challenge to take on if he goes up against this big son of a gun. So <laughs> and boy does do they have some guns. So, we'll see you later for the next uh, toy review. And uh, also, as a little bit of a reminder, we have a, uh, since it's Saturday, that means that there's a live stream going to be coming at 8, 8 p.m. Central tonight. And also one for Sunday night. Uh, I will have a reminder in the community page there. So, make sure y'all definitely come and see it there. Uh, we're going to have a little something different for this weekend. Uh, when you, uh, that, like I say, come to the live stream and it will be announced. There'll be a little something uh, different going on with the story time. So be sure to come there and you will hear it firsthand for yourself.